everybody, welcome to your uh, 2015 September uh, stars. Um, this year has gone really fast, it's going really fast, I don't know where half the months have, months have gone. Um, September is going to be an awful lot of changes for us again, a lot of things happening, a lot of profound changes going on around us. Um, I thought this month, um, because it's quite a big month, I would use um, my old tarot deck. I don't know if I've got the book for it. Um, my Ciro Margetti, um, Gateway to the Divine Tarot. So that is the one that I'm using this month. And usually when I use that deck, um, it's a little bit more focused. It's a little bit more in depth, a lot more thought provoking than the usual readings that I do where this will happen in work, this will happen in relationships, it's it's more focused in. Um, so do remember to look out for um, your moon sign and your rising sign as well to give you some extra clarity if it doesn't resonate with you um, because they are more focused in, they're not quite as scattered um, as my other readings, which I'll stick to doing them like that during the week this month. I just thought with it being September and with it being a uh, we've got two eclipses this month, so I just thought I'd do do a little bit of a, a deeper reading for you this month. So to have a look at what is going on this month, I'm not going to go into the full astrology because I'm not very good at astrology. I go more off the energies of the full moons, so and the new moons. So that's what I I sort of go through um, when I go through things. So September the sixth, we have got. Um, Venus is finally going direct. Um, this is going to be felt up until October the 8th. Thank goodness, that's really, really good that it's going forward. But the first 10 days of September are a really important turning point for a lot of us um, that reveals the new order or the new way of how we're going to do things. Any changes of heart that came around during the Venus retrograde and have sort of stuck with you and you've made your decision on those and any new priorities that you've planned or you thought of, those can now be implemented and, and put solidly into place. Any bad relationships are now going to be left behind and we can start to do repair work on um, that begins on relationships and the projects that we've, that have passed the test of the retrograde. Um, on September the 13th, 2015, we've got a solar um, eclipse. Um, it's a new moon in Virgo. And it's really important, <laughs> really important. With the new moon in Virgo um, and with it being a partial solar eclipse, Remember that eclipses are all about creating changes in your life um, that you want to last. So focus on issues, focus on wishes that are going to stand the test of time when this solar eclipse comes round. Make your wishes, make your questions um, and ask your guides and angels and ask your higher consciousness um, and ask things like if you're looking for a relationship, what do I need? Um, to do to be in order, what do I do, what do I need to do in order to be in a relationship that serves me and respects me and makes me feel part of a team that makes me feel good and when you create wishes and questions like that that are designed um, for the big picture not temporary the universe is going to respond to that um, and the new moon solar eclipse in Virgo is all about eclipsing the bad out of your life and creating the good that you want to last, that has that lasting duration to stay around as well. Some of the changes that come your way will be fated and destined and you won't have a chance to not let them happen. There isn't a thing you can do about it for those that are fated. What you can do between now and then is prepare yourself um, to be okay with any surprises and any changes that come about that you haven't got control about. 
um, during the solar eclipse. When the new moon is in Virgo uh, for this eclipse, organisation, responsibility and attention to detail is going to be really important. Themes of, of where this is. This is where you're going to see the changes in both your love and your work life. And what once you have asked your for your wishes, go with the flow as much as you can and let the changes just come in on their own, in their own way, without trying to uh, predict predict the exact way in which things will happen. Just let it flow, let it come in. We don't know how things are going to happen. You just know that they are going to happen but we don't know in what way they're going to happen. And then moving on to September the 17th. September the 17th through to October the 9th, we've got Mercury Retrograde. And Mercury Retrograde is in Libra. So that's in my sign. Um, so Mercury Retrograde is the planet that rules communications, travel, short journeys, messages, communication, emails, phone calls, computers, um, and in any general retrograde period, we can always expect delays on all of these matters um, and travel or road related hiccups as well. If there is any time of year um, that you are going to experience any of these delays, it's going to be during the um, Mercury retrograde. So back up all your technology, back up your disks on your computer, double and triple check travel arrangements um, and hand deliver any, any important documents. Don't let them get lost in the post. Pay extra attention um, to all that sort of thing. Because this one is happening um, in Libra, expect messages involve, involving partnerships to have special importance to you. And if you've been waiting, uh, for a lover, a past love to come back to you. Again, Mercury retrograde because it's in Libra, which is the zodiac sign of partnerships and balance. It's the time of year when this is most likely to happen. So watch out for that. Now, September the 27th, we've got a lunar, a full lunar eclipse in Aries. Um, and this supermoon poses a lot of good things. Um, with a full moon in Aries, all the Aries traits are going to come out. So passion, drive, leadership, confidence um, and instincts are all going to be highlighted for all of the sun signs to make use of. Um, and we know that with the eclipse moons, when they've got that energy, it's about 10 times more potent than a regular normal full moon is. And so with you've got the Aries energy in there, it's really going to burn fires and it's going to do that for all the signs in the zodiac. So if you've got any burning drive, any burning desires in your life right now, follow every single instinct, opportunity that comes your way. And if you can do that, you will certainly see some really magical results and things to avoid during this this period that are bad uh, bad tempers walk away from any arguments that come your way um, during this period and certainly certainly keep your temper at bay when it comes around um, because it will there'll be a few frayed nerves at this time as well and a good chance you might want to argue with somebody so keep that at bay be careful of that and just watch out for that so we've got a lot of interesting things happening this month. Um, obviously, there's a lot of other astrological things as well, but I don't um, don't know an awful lot about those. But there's there's plenty of other readers on there that you can go through and find out every single date of what's going on. I just wanted to highlight the ones that I know of that interest me um, and are most prevalent to the energies that I feel and when I do the cards and everything. So. There we go. So have have um, a brilliant September. There's going to be a awful lot of things going on, good and bad, for all of us. I say the bad things may be karmic. We might not be able to do much about them. Just go with the flow, ride through them, and make sure the good things are the things that we want, that we really, really want. Make September special. 
okay so on with your stars namaste blessings and light thank you so much for your likes your shares your subscribes your google pluses everything and if you'd like a private reading from me just click up in the corner get yourself booked in for a reading i'd love to do one for you and have a great one okay bye Hi Taurus, right on with your September 2015. Just to remind everybody I've picked a different deck for this month and they are very in-depth and very specific um, so if it doesn't resonate remember to check out your rising sign and your moon sign as well because it won't necessarily go through every area of your life. Um, so let me get rid of this one for a moment so you can see what's there. We're starting off with judgment so you are being judged or you're judging somebody else um it's a bit of a, a karmic card really um there's wonderful things beginning um and there is wonderful things that can happen at the beginning of the month providing that you rely upon your own judgment of things so you've got a lot of changes. If you desire to make any changes, you can make them at the moment um, because you're being blessed with some sort of cosmic energy coming in. So make the most of them when this, when this card appears. The judgment card is also indicating that any past efforts that you've made are gonna come in with some positive results at, and, and rewards for you. The danger is don't judge yourself don't caught up, get caught up in that I'm no good I'm no good I can't make it you can and you will if you want to um, don't be your own worst judge and if anybody is judging you then that's their problem that's not your problem you don't need to even worry about it just let them get on with it um, any injustices you felt that you've had in your life you need to work towards um, work towards the future except um, that there may be some material success coming in and that will come in um, at a later date for you it may not come in immediately this month um, but there is the startings of it so break away from however you usually think listen to your intuition sum up your life sum up the actions that you've done know where you are being led to or where your actions are leading you to um, and basically as you sow so shall you reap there's a lot of work has been well done for you um, and there's this anticipation that you know that you've done some really good work and it will um, have make future success for you a lot of new developments coming around for some of you you were waiting for the success to come in for some of you can actually sort of see this coming in around now and you can see new developments happening any important matters that have, have been dealt with previously um, you need to put aside now and forget about them in order to move forward into the new successes and it's covered by the ace of swords um, so the ace of swords again can talk about justice um, there might be court papers going on or some sort of authority um, in your life but it also talks of the ace of swords the qualities of, of that card coming into you that you can use as well so it's being clear about things being able to see things a clarity that maybe you didn't have before um, being strong even though things might not be brilliant at the moment but still having that strength to move forward through it um, some of you may find yourself having to take action or make a decision under some quite stressful situations and you need to keep your emotions balanced at this time in order to be able to make that correct decisions but there is fulfillment if you've already made that decision then know that there's going to be that fulfillment coming in after the choice has been made and there's a favorable outcome to some sort of 
um, whatever this stressful circumstance was, there's a favourable favorable outcome to that. That you are putting a lot of work into something at the moment and you will see the success of that and whether that focus that you are putting on something, whether it's a love relationship or a work relationship, a family relationship, there is a lot of focus on it and it will reap the rewards. Because it's surrounded by a couple of cups cards, um, I tend to think it might be uh, something to do with either love or relationship, some sort of relationship that's going on in your life at the moment. Now, just in the past, we've got the temperance card. So there's been a need for moderation um, in the past. Uh, patience as well. There's a lot of karmic stuff going on in your reading at the moment. Um, a lot of you are learning lessons. A lot of you are learning about justice, learning about how to achieve balance. So you've had to have patience in the past in order to bring these things about, <clears throat> in order to learn these things um, and, and learn the balance that's needed. You've learned that you're not to be hasty, you're not to rush into things and you've brought out, you've got an inner strength and a patience that brings that success in as well. And I think you've had to learn this lately in the recent past to get to where you are today. Um, having the patience to be able to control that patience in any situation, being moderate about things, having good practices as well. And I think the lessons that you've learned, you've learned pretty well recently and you've sort of graduated through that and the successes that you are coming to you, that are due to you, you will definitely see them by the end of the month. If you don't see them now, um, you should be able to see them coming in. You should be able to see them starting to appear. Now there is a lot of contemplation in the near future for you with the Four of Cups. Um, you're putting down foundations. <coughs> definite foundations that are going on. Um, for some of you that have had some sort of betrayal, I'm just going to say that now, um, you need to move past that, you need to see through it in order to seek the new and move forward onto a more positive path. There is some anxiety, um, I think there's an offer or an opportunity coming in which was offered by the Ace of Swords and you need to think carefully about it. You need to weigh up the benefits, you need to weigh up the risks. Um, be patient about it. But these opportunities are coming in to you in the near future. You're going to start to see them um, come in and not to be worried about them. Trust that the future is holding these new possibilities and successes and stay strong. You've learnt these lessons, this patience, this inner strength to be able to be shown these opportunities that are going to be coming in and you now need to put the, the things that you've learnt, they're going to test you on them. The universe is now going to test you on them um, and you need to put all, all your, your new learnings into practice and consider all options before moving forward to make this final decision with whatever it is that's coming through and again I think it could be some sort of relationship or union of some sort because we've got the two of cups um, in your conscious position which is it's bonding it's harmony between two people now it doesn't have to be romantic it could be it could I think it is but it could refer to a work situation or a family situation. It's about two people coming together, no more than that, being in unity together, being in harmony together, knowing what they both want and fitting together well. Um, ideas being discussed between two people, honest communication going on between two people. 
feel that this could be within all this some sort of message that you've been waiting for or a letter that's going to come through with some sort of information um, which is of good news to you could be a gift as well news of a celebration coming up so there could be a marriage coming up um, you could be thinking of marrying somebody that could be it starting a family um, moving in together and you're asked, being asked to weigh up all the options as, as you do this. There could be new friendships as well coming in. Obviously with the two of, of two of cups. Be very open to the possibilities that are coming in in the near future for you because there seems to be you've got gifts coming as a reward for hard work that you've put in before. Now, in your subconscious, which you're also thinking about, you're thinking about being fair as well, because this is in your subconscious. Again, it's about being balanced and having stability, um, balancing up your mind, your spirit, your body. Subconsciously, you're looking at your talents, your skills, your assets, and how they're going to play in a, a role in your lifestyle or this change of lifestyle that's happening and you're looking at the best course of action and you're looking at things from all different angles before you take action so you've learnt well with the temperance card before moving forward so there's a lot of contemplation there's a lot of inner stuff about these opportunities that are coming in these things that have presented themselves to you you're doing a lot of thinking about that a lot of contemplation is it the right thing to do is it the wrong thing to do if i do this what is the consequences of me taking this action and you are weighing everything up having the patience and working through it which is actually very very good that's the best way to to make a decision on anything now moving into the second half of the month you're doing, you're doing really well there is triumph there is success with the six of, of wands um, so after whatever this pit and there could have been some struggles going on the first couple of weeks as well making this decision or seeing you know thinking about things thinking things through deciding which path that you're taking it's been a struggle for some of you um, but when we come into the second half of the month we've got the six of wands which is victory after a period of struggle these news coming through again as indicated with the the cups things are getting good for you things that you've been waiting on are coming to fruition positive results are coming through to you um, and this is all a result of, of your hard work and your effort that you've put into it if there's any sort of enterprise or family business or business that you're setting up that is brilliant because that's going to come to fruition you've put a great deal of effort and energy into it for some of you it, it could be a work situation maybe you've been thinking of going into business with somebody um, but you're now in the second half of the month you're going to be in a position to start positively reaping the rewards celebrating you've made your decisions you're going forward and successful endeavors of all kinds are coming to you for some of you this is very specific I think for some of you <clears throat> especially if it's a work situation you're going to get some sort of public recognition so you could get um, could get your name mentioned on the radio or uh, your local newspaper does an article on you um, or something even more widespread than that there is something for some for a few of you um, that you're going to get recognition for especially if it's a work some sort of work situation or something that you're very successful in whatever this is that you're taking on um, and with the love situation things are improving things are getting better things are going to go really really well for you the effort that you've put into this relationship is going to pay off and do really well for you so moving on we've got the moon so we have got a little bit of a, a thing going on with the moon you're going to be very intuitive actually when the moon comes up um, 
there's going to be a lot of changes again around you for some of you and go with your you need to go with your intuition the moon is going to have a very strong um, effects on you be careful of your emotions it could have an effect on your emotions a little bit during that time but go with your inner voice learn that you are independent go with your inner voice build on your own security even if you're together with somebody else still don't put everything onto them still concentrate on your own security and rely upon yourself um, there is going to be some emotional changing with with behavior um, for any of you of a certain age women I'm talking about around this time if you are having extreme emotional changes I would I would recommend going to the doctor around this time because it, it might be it might be change time um, depending on your age but if you're having real problems with that just go and get that checked out there's going to be a lot of imagination as well a lot of creativity this is going to trigger a lot of creativity a lot of things and inspiration that's coming through answers coming through to you your guides and your angels speaking to you um, you being more intuitive and picking up more on the messages that come through than you usually do um, and use this again use this to your advantage there's <clears throat> a lot of inner personal development that you will be going through at this time it's going to give you a lot of joy and continue to give you a lot of achievement as well try looking at holistic approaches to something um, in health if you have any health problems at all looking at holistic so we're, we're talking vitamins we're talking Reiki massage meditation those sort of things if you need it have a look at those sort of things later on um, in the second half of the month for some of you there's going to be some slight changes again around this time um, and be careful of getting too much into your imagination make sure that you see the reality of things because sometimes with the moon we can get answers down and our guides and we're more intuitive and everything else but within the the reality of our real world outside us there is some things that may still be hidden from us but you're definitely going to be quite saying that um if you're in good really good health and everything there's going to be a lot less chance of any self-deception de If you've got any concerns at this time over anything around this time when the moon card comes up make sure that you know where you stand know where other people stand make sure they're not misunderstanding you could be part of the, the um, mercury retrograde coming in it could be that that it's pointing to mercury retrograde comes in and we've got communication issues at that point so there may be a little bit of that coming in definitely write down any dreams that you've got because your answers are, are within you now page of page of pentacles sort of later on into the the second half some of you might be going back to school some of you might be doing some more studying um, there's going to be for some of you wanting to learn things a lot of research going on more information coming to you after the moon um, which again will be positive for you that will enable you to carry on making these positive changes in your life there might be somebody who comes into your life at this point as well with the page of Pentacles as a messenger who will be a very empathic to you uh, will very be very much understanding of your point of view um, and they're very kind they're very generous and they're likely to offer their assistance if this is a person that may appear in your life at this point it's definitely good news but very positive news coming in 
though or meeting with a positive person and this is going to lead to um, more success more prosperous prosperous um, things coming to you and this and again this is all about all the hard work that you've put into it you've been working diligently towards your goals and there is changes for the better coming into your life if you get creative during the the moon phase when the moon comes up um, for some of you I feel that you actually might want to develop it into a profession or maybe you've got a hobby that you change into something that you can make money with in the future and that will be really prosperous for you as well and when we get to the eight of wands at the end of the month there is a lot of swiftness there is a lot of things coming around very quickly um, probably quicker than you can keep up with um, but there is fast moving events these fast moving actions at the end of the month whatever you we're thinking about contemplating, mulling over, having the patience to work through at the beginning of the month in the first couple of weeks. You are now definitely making big strides and going forward with all of it. Now, it could be that somebody comes in to help you. Um, some of you are going to have to sort of stay independent on that one and go through it. But whatever it was, you are absolutely just going for it and things are going to start to change very very quickly around the the end of the month and, and your job at this point is to keep going with it and keep up the momentum keep along that path it's the successful path that you need to be on um, remain diligent remain strong keep your blinkers on so you're looking forward on that path and that's where you you're going towards and that's what you're keeping towards and there will be some brilliant conclusions for a lot of you at the end of the month any hold-ups any delays that may have happened especially around the moon um, and the stuff at the beginning of the month that you had to work through and think about they're all gone all the hold-ups are done with um, and things are moving forward good things are happening for you so brilliant sort of a real two halves to the month again um, which it always does when we because we go off the moon phases but really really good reading for you things are definitely going to work out for the best by the end of the month and you're going to see them coming around you've already got messages coming in probably right from the onset but you're gonna to have to take a little time to think certain things through so wow uh, let me know how it goes um, I hope you enjoyed the reading again if you'd like a private reading from me just click on the link and I'll get you booked in I'd love to do one for you namaste blessings and light love you loads